Hi, my name is River Wolfston, and I am the counselor for Canyons Online. I am going to show you how to fill out your uh, learning plan. First, we're going to go into the course. So the course I'm going to use for this example is English 11, quarter one. And then once you click on the assignment for your stu student learning plan pacing guide, this is what you're going to see here. So we're going to go ahead, put course name. That is ELA 11. One. And if you are uh, enrolled in multiple courses, you'll do one of these learning plans for each of your courses. Student name. I'll just use my name. I am the example student here. Number of current online courses. So that's the number of courses that you are taking right now. Um, I would probably, it, although I'm not actually enrolled in any courses right now, uh, I'm going to put that would be enrolled in two because I usually take about two courses at a time. Any more than that is just too stressful on me. Um, and any less than that, I have a lot of extra time. So I'm going to put that I, I would be doing two courses. Starting date. So that's when you intend to start the class. I am going to say I'm going to start on 5.22, or sorry, 5.20.22. Um, and I like to give myself uh, a little more than a month to complete a course. So I'm going to say I, will, I shoot to complete this on the 30th of June. Not the 33rd, 30th of June, uh, 2022. Okay. I want to show you a really cool feature about the learning guide is it's going to automatically calculate how many days you have to finish the course and how many days per module uh, you have. And so I'm going to take over here. There are 10 modules in each of your courses. So one, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Uh, usually we begin with an introduction and end with a. I'm going to go over here to modules so that I can get the correct names just to remind myself what they are. Um, course introduction. So in all of your courses, your uh, module one will be course introduction. And in all of your courses, you will finish up with quarter wrap up and final. Okay. Now we know that I'm going to be starting on 5, 20, 22, because that's what I put up here. Um, and then my completion date, I'll be uh, 6, 30, okay. And we look over here for the recommended days per module. It says about four days per module. So I'm going to count four days from the 20th. So that's going to be 20, 21, 22, 23. So 5, 23. And uh, then I'm going to go in and fill in each the, the name of each module and when I'm going to start and when I'm going to finish that. So uh, module two, new nation and settlers. We begin that on the 24th. And I plan on having that done the 24th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, so that 527. And then so on and so forth, all the way down. I'll put the name of the module. I'll put when I plan on starting it, when I plan on completing it. Down here, um, these are two very helpful boxes. They're going to help you uh, think about how you learn best 
and communicate that to your teacher. So for me, um, I learn best from videos and music. Um, and then remember um, in this sheet, you'll use control return or control enter to go to another line. I learn best from videos and music, um, art, artistic activities, and um, reading. Okay? Um, and so you are going to let your teacher know how you learn best, however it is. Now, over here, is there anything that your teacher can do to better support you? So um, I am go. I would say uh, regular uh, email to check on my progress. Um, I like Thursdays. Um, and I am going to say, let's see. Um, um, I. Uh, need to be able to attend office hours okay um so those are some things i think would help me you'll have a copy of this of course in your google drive um, and also your teacher will have a copy of this because it's being submitted as an assignment so they'll know how best to help you so that's our tutorial for today and Thank you for watching.